Okay, so first thing is when you put it on, you gotta make sure, you know it's gonna go on this way. So this part here has to be able to, to go this way when you ratchet it. You can't have it this way, it has to be this way. So you put it on here, right? In this case, I'm just gonna hold it with my chest. You gotta put this straight, right? Just hold it onto the same location it was. And then this is gonna go in here. In here. I can see, do that? Here into this hole. Okay, gonna go down. Are you gonna do from there? Let's see, wait a minute, it went down, right? Yeah. Okay. You just gotta make sure that, that this thing here, that this is gonna be facing that way because that's the only way it's gonna ratchet. You don't want it the opposite way. Okay. So you just put some tension on it and from there you just ratchet it, literally. And then you set it up on the location you want. Okay. So you wanna try to put this as far over here as you can. You don't want it, you don't want it over here. You want this thing close to here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because then it makes it easier. See, now I'm able to hold both sides. Okay. So now the only thing from here is getting this. So you just keep going, keep going. You find the hole, you put it into that same hole here. You just put it in there. So once you put it in, right, you put it in and you just get rid of all the tension, all the slack. So you just keep going, going, going. And then now, all right, now it wants to hold. So now I set up the location of where I want it to be. So I guess right here would be fine. And then you just start ratcheting. Okay. Start ratcheting and start holding it in. And then okay. okay. So we're gonna do dummy set one, nice and slow. So let's start it off. Start yeah, ready? Okay. It's live now, so. Try to do the Lao Sao. Okay. Sit it on the inside. Try that one more time. Okay. Do it again. I'm gonna get it from this angle. Okay. Again, slow this time. Can you tighten that anymore? No, but it's kind of it's good because it shows you the intent. Like, if I'm here, I can actually go. Okay, like, that's good. It. All right. Slow. For this part. Yeah, but slow. Okay. By the road. Don't do it the regular way. This is this is to teach people. So, step by step. Okay, don't do this right now. Just do here and here. Okay. We know it's supposed to be here, but show them here first, and when they get more advanced, then we go that here, and then slide down. So try it one more time. <clears throat> you gotta speak up too. So I gotta put the kick. Okay. Uh, okay. I can't hear you. I gotta do the kick. I forgot the kick. First. Okay. So, right. so view cell first, right? So view cell first. Don't use view cell to 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 take your realistic. You should be able to do it with, with your hands in your back to go in. So use the view cell first, then you go in, right? And you go both cell down. Make sure you slide down the arm to be able to turn them here. So you do the stomp kick, right? Here I missed a little bit, but it's gonna go there. Bounce out, and then you step off the line. And realistically, here I can't hit, but when I go in, you're gonna see their arm move. See? Here. That's them me moving their arm. And it goes like here, close it. Here, clip. And I bring it past. The reason it's moving this way is because realistically, I'm moving them past my shoulder. And then, last up, close. Okay, and also remember when you do the entry, when you land, circle before you land. Oh, yeah. So let me just get your footwork now. Right. So I'm not gonna focus on your hands. Right. There you go. We'll try that part again, just that part. So I, I got your feet only now. That, that's it.
Okay, one more time. Okay, I want to get you from the back. They might not be able to see everything, but at least they can see which way you're stepping. So let me get it from the back here. Get this all the way back. your whole body okay start it now real slow this is for someone who doesn't even know the junk so do it slow time slow motion that's too slow too fast I want you to do the land the landing really slow so they can see the circle yep there you go Did we put the arm too low, the middle arm? Um, I should have measured my jong. Next time I'll measure my jong because that middle arm might be too low. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Well, they could hit low. They could yeah, it could hit. Okay. So do set two, okay. with from the back. Do set two and three from the back, and then I'll do the side angles, so everybody everybody can see. Slow motion. Set two. Make sure you make everything distinct. Slower than that, so they can see everything you're doing. No, nope, don't do the. No, nope, keep it simple. No, nope, don't do that one. Well, what's the what's the other way? <laughs> Bong, tan. Okay. Yep. We're not doing. Keep everything basic. I know you know more advanced versions, and they come out when you do it sometimes. Yeah. Do it for a beginner. Don't do the fancy stuff yet. One more time, nice and slow. No, nope, hit low, that's a low strike. That should be a low strike, do it again. One more time. Slower than that. Okay, set three. Okay, do that again. There's no gang sao there. Do it again. <clears throat> yeah, do both sides. Slow. Like you're teaching someone who doesn't know it.
Okay, come this way a little bit now. I gotta talk loud. So let me show you something. From here, you did this. You moved. Right. So you don't move. You clear oh. first, and then you move. So on the jump, on the jump, once I've done this, I clear first, then I move. Okay, I don't do this. Not. So everybody, normally, I want you to hear this. Normally, you would be on this arm. Normally, you would be doing this arm. So normally, you would hold your both your arms up. So normally, you'd be doing it on this arm. And see, he can still hit me. So on the jump, you touch this arm, but you go in the middle. It's the same thing like when you do the entry. You you hold both arms up. You go from this arm to that arm. See? See? So from here, when I do this, ah, okay. see? And then I would lock. In actuality, I'm moving this arm over. Right. But since the arm doesn't move, you touch this one a little bit and come, come between the arms. So try that. Up, oh, you moved. I want to move away. You don't move. You don't have to move. Hold on you don't move. You stay there. Yeah, you cut. Now you move. Yes. Okay. Yep. So try that a few more times. And then we'll get the other angle. Okay, so come here for a second now. So, on the jump, when you do, after you do this, you do this. Don't stand, no, don't follow me. Leave <laughs> your arms there. You used to wing chun, you're tracking me. Yeah, you want to track my arms. So try to forget wing chun for a second. Okay, so when I do this, I go over so I'm in the center, right? Most people will, lop this arm, but when I do this, I'm really lopping that arm, and watch what I'm doing. See? Oh, See? But leave it, don't follow me. Usually it's this. Right. Look, push forward, no, push forward. Right. So if I do, if I do this, and hit that arm here, see that opening? Go to the other arm, so watch me slowly. Instead of pocking this arm, I forget this arm is here because I'm actually moving this arm over. So I do this. See? So now I'm in the proper position. If I pock the left arm, I'm going to have a space here. So after you do this, go over the left arm to the right, lop. Now the left arm will still be there physically, but mentally it's not there because you've moved it over. And don't pock the left arm, pock the right arm. So now you're in the right position, okay? Now it's taught the way I did before, but the actual application is what I showed you. There's no sense in me teaching you to pop that other arm and then later on having to correct you and say, it's really that arm. I just want to go to it right away. So you guys will get good. Life's too short to mess around. <clears throat> okay, so try it. I know you're not used to doing it, so if you make a mistake, no big deal. Nice. Now, see, there you go. Now continue. Now pop with the left hand now. One, two, and do the same thing on that side. Nice. It makes sense, yeah. But the thing is, the thing is, look, say where you are, say where you are. People who don't know will go, what about this arm? It's not there. You've moved it over there. Oops, I was with it for real. Yeah. If it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's how I want it done. That's how I want it done. Okay. Ciao. I mean, no, wait a minute. How do you say? Como estai? Malta. Ella habla italiano, es casi igual que español. Como estai? In Italiano. 
Where's my coffee? Okay. Yeah, but see, those so are just, but just on pork. Form, um, yeah. You okay. got to keep it simple, okay. because if somebody said was going too fast. Right. So, for the advanced students, we can do all that stuff. Right. But right now, let's just keep it simple. Actually, so simple is go simple break. is good. True. But realistic is a little better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So now set four from the back, and then I'll do this from the side. Okay, one more time. You want to run through the whole form from the back? Yeah. Let's run through the whole form from the back. Matter of fact, how about this? Start over, do the whole form. You remember the sequences, right? Yeah. Because you do it all the time. That's so the do, hard part. Do the whole form. Whole form? Do the whole form slowly. Okay. Really slow. Okay. And then we'll start doing the angles. Like seal and tell. Yeah. Okay, no, the whole form I said. Oh, the whole form. Okay, I gotta remember the sequences. That's the hard part. Okay, five is the double. Okay, double. I want the Six, no, left hand jut. No, no, yeah, right. Sorry, right hand jut. Okay, seven, double gang sao, and the double kick. Bong Sao and elbow, elbow break. Low Bong Sao and the Tan, remember that part? Gam Sao, Dan Sao.
Okay, the triple abuse hours. Okay, now the lead arm jet. Okay, the double gang styles and three kicks. Okay, there's some corrections, but that's good. Take a break. Yeah, there's, a there's a lot of corrections. That's okay, though. I also have trouble with the sequence because during my 30 something years with seafood, the sequences have changed. So that's, you know. But, yeah. This. Okay. David, you want to try? Oh, you want to be live? You're, okay, you don't want to do live? No, I did. I was just doing it two days, two days in a row. We got a shy Marine here. Just do set one and two, dude. Come on. Maybe this pressure will make you do it perfect. <coughs> you forgot to do the Lao Sao. Oh, I yeah, after the base strike, Lao Sao to come around and arm break. There you go. There you go. Hi, Marta. How's the weather in Italy? It's beautiful here by the beach. <coughs> uh, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, tell my brother Luca I said hello. So, you did good. Remember, you're just learning it. You're not going to be perfect. No. You're doing it better than most people at your stage. So, you know. But see, Marines seek perfection, right? Three eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three All right, so how much time do we have? Um, before my battery dies. Oh, let's work on some drills. Um, here. Somebody, um, can you see me? Can I in frame here? No. To, to the side. Can I in frame now? A little more? Right there. Oh, no. But you can always move the camera. True. Duh. <laughs> Our technology. All right, now you're there. <laughs> so, there was a question about level one, that pox style punch. So let me just show you this. Say I'm in a left side neutral stance. I won't use my hands. So, my center is facing out there. So, this drill requires you to step and turn. Okay? So I step and turn. So let's see it from here. I step and turn. I step and turn. So when I step, if I hold my arms down and I step and turn, watch my right arm get propelled forward. Because when I step, just that dip into it. So the punch is coming straight at me. I pass it over my shoulder and then hit and my hip propels that punch out. So when the person punches, okay? So on level one, when we first saw the written part of the syllabus and it says Paxal punch, we thought it was this Paxal punch until we finally saw the video. So it's really here. Got me centered? I step to the side, Paxal punch, see? My center's facing to my right. I step and turn, so from the back. My center is facing out there. I'm going to step to my left, turn to my right. Box like all punch. Box like all punch. I was giving a lesson, and it's kind of hard to display this 
online virtually. So I want to make sure everybody has this. So, um, can you come over here? Would you still be in? Is he in frame? Can you see what he's in frame? I got Can you double check? Yeah, thanks. So, no, just move the camera. Uh, duh. No, the, there's a handle there. See yeah. the handle? You're good. You're good. Okay. You, you, we're near Hollywood, man. You should be, able to, you should be in your blood. You're from California. So, he's going to punch straight at my face. I'm doing this. See? Forget my hands. He's punching at my face. I'm doing this. Go on the other side. He punches at my face. I do this. So, the punch goes by, by me. So, if I was going to right side neutral, he punches. I pass it by my face. See that? So, he passes by my face. And he runs into my punch. I did it. Yeah, but that torque, but that hip torque. Oh, I didn't want to do that. No, I it. felt that even it would hurt you. Yeah, time. it would hurt, you know. So let's do the other side. You can punch. See? Right? And then it says hot salt punch, lap salt punch. So when I do this, I don't just lop because there may not be anything there. When I do this, I do a chin first to cover myself. If there's something there, I lop. If there's nothing there, then I would step in. So, do the punch at me. Right here. Right, right here. Step in. One. I tune first. So I can't even get deep. In case he pulls his hand back and throws the other hand. See? I lop that hand. Now step away, but don't don't step in to hit me. I'm gonna do this wrong. I want you to do two punches with this hand. Don't hit me. Right. Stop short. I'm gonna do something wrong. Okay. All right. Do two punches. No, no. I, you stepped in. Oh, sorry. I said, don't step in. I won't hit you. No, no, don't step in. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a reason. I don't, okay, okay, sorry. Most of my injuries have been from students. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. not in the not in the ring. Sorry. Don't step in. Stay right there. Stay right you got there. us in focus? <laughs> okay. So, let me see you punch and don't step in. I don't trust you now. No, two punches with that hand. Oh, shucks. I got to keep the phone near the oh. device. It doesn't, so, look, uh, doesn't look like it says life still. So. Okay, <laughs> okay, you're planning. So I'm going to do two punches fast. One, two, that hand. Okay. See? Wait, do it again. If I just lop, I didn't cover anything. Now do it again. Yeah, you're there. See? That's why you do this. So whenever you do the pox out, there's a pocket there. Got it. No, 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 it's going to fall. There's a pocket on this side. Right. Yeah, go. right there. There you go. So it doesn't fall out. So whenever you, whenever you punch, I do I choose first and then lock. Okay? So pox out punch, chin out, lop out punch. So that's in the syllabus. It's gonna say pox out punch, lop out punch. Pox out punch, lop out punch. This is a center line lock. So your wrist should be two inches past your shoulder. Now, the same drill, you do a right front stance. We're Parallel leg. When he punches at me and I make contact, that's parallel arm. So this drill passing by your ear, that one puck is a parallel arm block. What if I'm in cross leg and he throws that punch? So get, get, into, get into your guard, throw, throw a straight punch at me. See? Do it again. I'm still doing parallel. So right now, we're cross leg, but when I touch him, we're parallel arm. Right. So now, if we're parallel leg, I have to turn my center. To strengthen. But if I'm already here, I just use the, I don't have to turn my center. And then I turn the left. You got it? So if we're parallel leg, I have to turn my center to hit it. But if we're cross leg, I just use my rear hand to block. See, I bring it up to block it, see? So I use my lead arm to block. If we're parallel leg, if we're cross leg, I do that, okay? Take care. Stay safe, everybody. Where was that? Box out? Box out, box out, box here, raise it up. Remember, it's gonna go to the middle, to the middle, then use your waist. Yeah, use your waist. This is the important part. You you could either move around it or you can take them with you. And now you move around it. For you, it's better to take them with you. So here, and then you go back here. Yeah, so here, here, here. Now you're gonna go back again. Do set B of set three. Go one, 
two, three. Remember, yeah, but remember, meet up. So cover the bottom line, meet up, right? Now raise it up. Uh, okay, so go back to, yeah, raise it up. This hand should be in chin top position. That your left hand should be by your elbow. Right here, right? Yeah, so then you raise it up here, right? It's gonna slide to the middle, there. And JJ, here, you, you do it once. You're gonna think about your, your waist. Mm -hmm. Here, and then you're gonna use the waist move over here. Yeah, so all you're doing is going left side, uh, left side neutral to right side neutral. And same location. Yeah, if you, if you move, you take away that torque from where you're taking them. Could you show me the application? JJ, uh, David, punch at him. Do it slow. So do it this way. Right, right. No, it's a round punch. Oh. Round, round. Right? See, look, if I, now here, if I move around you, I hit you, right? Now let me show you the other one. So if I don't move around you, if I keep you here in the same place, if I just go left side neutral, uh, right side neutral, left side neutral, watch. I'm not gonna move that way. That's what happens. If you stay in one place and do this, you take them with you. You, you get rid of that lot power when you go around them. You have to. So with the jut out, you jut in. So if you think of a ramp, jut is sliding down a ramp. It's not pushing down. So if he throws that punch at me, see? And I jut here on his wrist. And when I do a jut, my finger should point to your eye, just like in Silo Tau. So do the jut, throw the punch with that hand. See, I jut and go to the eye. See, I can go right to his eye. So jut is coming down. So JJ asked me, where do I jut? So if you throw the punch, don't, don't step in, because I'm trying to stand here. Throw the punch and pull your hand back. If I jut for his wrist, I'm not going to get it. Throw it again. See, I caught something there. Same thing when you do a pak sao chun stop. If I go for his wrist, pull back. There's nothing there. So when I do a pak chun, I reach out there. So when he pulls back, I have something to catch. So if you try to reach for the wrist, by the time you reach for the wrist, they pull back. But if you reach past their arm, then when they pull back, you got something to grab. Same on the shoulder on this side. So it changes stance. You know? So I pop chin. When you pull back, I got something to grab. I'm gonna try to go for your wrist. Pull it back. Nothing there. But you pulled it back. Remember that. Okay. Okay. So I could do. Say he punches. I could do this. And you step in. Step in. I could do the jut if I stepped back. Right. So I could go. And jut, but step, step in. If I just step, step, in, step in deep, step yeah, in yeah, step in deep. See, I could do the jut if I step back, because sometimes we used to perform it here, and you do a jut. Right. But that's if I step back. See, you step in deep, I could do the jut. Right. But if I'm against a wall and you punch, and you're punching here, because you're trying to punch through my face, if I did that jut, I did myself. So that's why you would do this. It's more, it's safer though if you step in deep to do that. Yeah. Now watch which hand I'm going to be punching with now. My left hand. See? Okay, that's good. Whereas if I did this, I'm going to punch with my right hand. But if I did this, this one's safer. Because if you throw the other hand, I got something mm -hmm. out there. So, okay, that was some variables. You got a side neutral stance. So we're going to do the third part of the set three, where you, um, Pak. Pak. Now notice how he's doing that low gang sao. Do it again. That's it. See? Why is he going down here? That's in case I do this. Then, if I raise See? It up then he raises it up. So just do it. That's third part of set three. Just keep repeating it. Close your eyes. Again. Notice he's covering his upper middle, upper gate and middle gate. Oops, keep it here. Yeah. Don't step in, just stay where you are and keep stepping in. That's right, turn and step in. Okay. So now if I do this, what do you do? You bring this arm up, bring it over, chin, lock, hit me. Right? So what if I punch low? If I punch low, you still bring it up. See? Let's try that again. I'm gonna punch low on this side. You just break, no? Oh, depends on where it's at. Okay. See, he brings it up. Try that again, slow, slow. He brings it up, 
No, you gotta, when you bring it up, you gotta turn right. your palm up. Stay back there. Sorry. <laughs> Look, let's use this line here. Okay, that's okay. So, see? Touch your own arm. So, yeah, you touch your own arm. So that's where you don't, so you don't lose contact, see? Ah, okay. You touch your, so when I do this, I touch my own arm so I still have contact. Then I turn it around, take it over my head, chin south, lop, step and hit. Okay, so try that. Bring your own arm up, turn your palm up, bring it across your head, side palm, side palm. Stay within sorry, the sorry, form. Sorry, sorry. Stay within the form. Okay? Stay back there. Okay, touch your own arm. Touch your own arm to slide up. Same thing when you do a chin. See? Right. How I slide up my own arm. It's the same principle. Okay? Okay, continue. Right, side palm then hit, okay? Remember when you do that hit, you move it across or up. Because if I try to do this, I'm covered, I'm blocking myself. Okay. Yeah, I've hurt my own spine, okay? Because I hit the radio ball. Let's try that again. You keep moving. <laughs> We're not sparring. Stay back, it makes me want to punch you. <laughs> All right, so touch your own arm, come up. I feel more comfortable. Yeah, see how you lifted my arm up? Good, now I'm gonna punch low. You're gonna do the same thing. Bring it up. You do it slow. Do it slow motion, so they can see. See, you still touch your arm now. Now you touch your arm. Okay. So they can rejoin. Yeah. Okay. So bring it up, over, and then there you go. And then yeah, lift my arm up. There you go. All right. That's good.